Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over one of the best methods for you to get a shiny Feebas and Melotic in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask. To shiny hunt these new exclusive rare Pokemon in the Teal Mask, you're going to need to head up to the Crystal Pool area. Once you're in this location, if you head across the bridge, Towards the left, towards this rubble pile here, if you head around the back of this area, you'll see a small cave entrance. This is where we'll be heading to do the actual hunt. But before we go into this area, there's a few things that we're going to need to set up. We're going to need to get a mass outbreak for Feebas. It does appear in this one location in Kitakami. So before we head down into the cave, you're going to want to just drop a save initially. And we're going to be looking for a mass outbreak of Feebas. It is one of the rarer mass outbreaks. The so times will vary on how long it will take you to get the Feebas. It did take me quite a while. It was over 30 minutes of resetting for the Feebas. But if you're just patient, you will eventually get it on your map. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do after dropping that save is set up a picnic and create a sandwich. It's going to give us the encounter power level 2 for water type Pokemon. This will just increase our chances of getting a Feebas outbreak on our map. The recipe that we use to get this encounter power level 2 is 6 rice, 1 mayonnaise, 1 ketchup, 1 salt and 1 cream cheese. Once you've put this together, you will get that encounter power level 2 for water type Pokemon and you're ready to start resetting, respawning the mass outbreaks on your map. So if you weren't aware to reset the mass outbreaks, what you need to do is open your map so you can get a gauge of everything spawning out and then respawning again. And once your map is open, if you hit your home menu, come down into system settings, then down into system, then into date and time. Just make sure that your synchronize the clock via the internet is set to off and then click into the date and time itself toggle through the options, don't change anything, and hit that OK button. Then hit your home menu, back into your game, and you should see all of the mass outbreaks and the terror raids respawn. They should disappear and new ones should appear in different locations. This is the method what you're going to do over and over again to get that Feebas outbreak. You want to rinse and repeat this method until that Feebas does appear on your map and it will only appear in this location as well. So this is the one place you're going to be wanting to keep an eye on. It is worth noting as well, sometimes the mass outbreaks don't spawn through properly on the map. So just fast travel back to the Crystal Pool area, even though you're in this area anyway, just to make sure that those outbreaks are coming through after you've went into your date and time to do the respawn manipulation. Like I say, it took us over half an hour to get this Feebas on our map, but hopefully it takes less time for yourselves. Again, just have a little bit of patience when you're resetting for it. Once you've got the outbreak appearing, you're going to want to now drop a save in your game. So just drop a save before you do anything else and then venture into the cave. You're going to drop down straight down into the first floor area where you'll come to this rubble pile and then you're going to find this entrance here that'll lead you off into another cave system where it'll drop you down into a pool. This is the pool where the Melotics are going to be spawning in. Now like all other mass outbreaks you're going to want to knock out 60 of the Feebas before we do anything else. This is going to help increase your odds of a shiny spawning and if you've got the Sparkling Power Level 3 and the Shiny Charm active and you've knocked out or caught 60 Feebas from this outbreak, it will increase your odds to 1 in 512 chances of a Shiny appearance. So you want to do all of these things to maximize our chances to get a Shiny Feebas. Now, if you're in this initial pool and the Feebas aren't spawning through very frequently, what you can do is head through this tunnel system to the other pool area and just Get in this same position that I am here. If you look to the left of you, you'll see three spiky prongs coming from the ceiling. You want to be on the third one back, level with that and looking into the cave system. This should then allow the Feebas in that next cave system to spawn through. You'll be able to see that pool filling up with Feebas, allowing you to go back in and knock the 60 out. After you've knocked that 60th Feebas out, what you need to do then is fast travel back to the crystal pool area. So once you've done this, come back to the entrance of the cave system and drop a save. Now we are going to set up another sandwich right now. It's going to increase our shiny odds to the maximum to that 512 odds. And those maximum odds are with the shiny charm as well. So the sandwich recipe that we are going to set up for this one is going to be one cucumber 
three rice, one potato salad, one noodle, and then we are going to be using a mixture of one bitter Herba Mystica and one spicy Herba Mystica. This will give us the sparkling power level three for water type Pokemon, the title power and the humongo power. You don't need the encounter power when you're going in on a mass outbreak. This is one of the more optimal sandwich recipes for this process. Once you've set this sandwich up, you want to head back into the cave system where the Melotic were and then position yourself once again in the this area here in the adjacent pool through the tunnel looking back on the Melotic and again using the three prongs from the ceiling as a reference where you're going to line yourself up with the third prong uh, away from the tunnel and then you're going to use the zoom function on your switch if you come into your system settings then into your system then come down to zoom and just make sure that is set to on You'll be able to go back into your game and double tap your home button and this will allow you to zoom in because you can't use the camera function when you're on your Coriodon or Moriodon in the water. But this will allow you to zoom in and you can see the Feebas will be spawning in uh, in good numbers in the adjacent pool where you're looking through to. Now at this stage all you're going to really want to do is kind of just wait for all of the Feebas to spawn in. You'll get a good amount of them spawning in that you're going to be able to see. And when no more starts spawning in, you want to turn around and head to the back of the cave system where you're located. Uh, if you look back through the tunnel, you'll see all the Feebas that have spawned in will have despawned. And you want to just reposition yourself in the position again for the Feebas to spawn in again. And you just rinse and repeat this process. It is, is as simple as that. You've got 30 minutes with your sandwich power. Of course, we have saved before setting this sandwich up. So if you don't get the shiny, in this 30 minutes then you can just reset your game come back into it and then set the same sandwich up again using the same recipes we already have done and come and repeat this process over until you do get that shiny Feebas. Now we were really lucky with this one we got this on our first sandwich and we were able to get the shiny Feebas here so just make sure you're keeping an eye out for it. It is an obvious shiny. You're not going to have too much difficulty spotting the shiny from its regular form. And when you do have it, make sure before you go into the battle to drop a save. So if anything goes wrong, if you don't catch it or anything like that, then at least you can reset the game, come back into it, and you haven't lost the shiny. We are catching it in a dream ball. It'd be great to hear down in the comment section if you go for this hunt, what ball you are going to put your own shiny Feebas and Melotic in. And we do catch it. Now, the next thing is, of course, we've got to evolve our Feebas into Melotic. Now, to evolve Feebas into Melotic, you're going to need a Prism Scale and you're going to need to be able to trade it to another person. This, of course, will initiate the evolution. And thankfully, I had Scott on hand to give me some help with this trade. So he's traded back the Feebas with the attached Prism Scale. And as you can see, we now have a brilliant shiny Melotic from this method. And you can do the same in your games by following all of the steps that we've covered in today's video. The Crystal Pool area, the sandwiches and getting the mass outbreak. It is going to be the most effective way of hunting Feebas in the games right now. Now to get the Prism Scale item to evolve your Feebas into Melotic, you can get this from the Pokedex rewards from completing your Pokedex. It is one of the rewards that you get on the journey to getting the 200 Kitakami Pokemon. Or you can go to the Olga ousting game. It is an item drop from the rewards when you're doing the balloon popping mini game. So that is another way to get an extra prism scale if you need additional ones. But once you've got that shiny, just attach your prism scale to it, trade it over to someone else and it will evolve. So friends, that is everything that we're going to cover in today's video. If you are going to try this shiny hunt, best of luck with it. Let me know how you get on and what Pokeball you'll be choosing to catch your Feebas and Melotic in your games. It'll be great to hear, but good luck, like I say, with the shiny hunts. We'll be back very soon with more of these sorts of videos. If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like and make sure you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye.